Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the weekly contest 319. Maximum number of non overlapping palindrome substrings. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. This one is a very weird one for me because um, I I spent about 12 minutes. I probably could have been a little bit faster. I was, but no, I mean, I thought I did okay on this one. Um, I think I probably could have cut out a couple of minutes if I was really um, whatever about it. But the other thing was that I was. Um, I was doing this in C++, so sorry if I find friends, because I saw N is equal to 2000, and I was like, well, Python has not treated, like, you know, fool me, fool me 27 times, shame on lead code, fool me 28 times, you know, maybe shame on Larry, you know, so this time anyway, um, I, I was aware enough to change to C++, I don't know how I feel about it, maybe it still works in Python, I don't know, but the code will be pretty similar, I imagine. Um, the, the, I would say one thing that I did kind of was worried about. Or, so one thing during the contest is that I thought I need to use either the Z function or the Z, the Z function, the, the Z um, algorithm or whatever it's called. So I kind of did look it up to see if I could use it. So that took a couple of minutes as well. But after I was like, eh, N squared should be fast enough. And you can find all, all palindromes in N squared um, by just inside out is how I would call it. So from that, um, the DP is pretty understandable. We'll go over it. Don't worry if you're thinking about it, but we'll go over it with code because I think this is a little bit better. But yeah, um, but basically this is my my um, my palindrome code in C++. Basically, we the idea here is that um, let's say we have, you know, Let's say we have something like this, right? So we do it twice, one for odd, one for even. But basically, about B, I was like, okay, well, that's a palindrome, right? So then we, you know, add to the left, add to the right, and then like, okay, this is still a palindrome. And then now we go again. Well, now we ran out of bounds. So basically, it's stuff like that, um, right? So we do it for every number. And of course, we also, tr this is the odd portion where we, you know, left and right is equal to the same. And then this is the even portion where you start with, okay, let's start with, say, um, you know, CC, and then and then next you add A to the left, you add D to the right, and you're like, oh, no more palindrome, right? And basically, what I'm doing here with the the array is just, and this is basically I'm thinking about it as an edge problem with a dynamic programming, right? Like an edge thing. And basically, what I'm doing is, um, maybe I'll draw it out because I'm, why not? Right. Hang on for a second. But basically the idea oh, is that let's say we have, you know, let's say we have, um, you know, let's say we have CC, uh, what was this one? Hmm. So A, B, A, C, C, D, B, B, D, and then I'm going to add a couple more, right? Doesn't matter, right? Um, and let's ignore K for now. But basically the idea here is that if this is a palindrome and this is, then we have a, you know, so the nodes in this case for my graph, um, my graph, uh, uh, what's it called, reduction, um, is that our, our nodes are the, the spaces in between the, in between the characters. And then we, we draw an edge if, huh, we, oops, sorry. We draw an edge if it is a palindrome, right? So there's also an edge here. Um, there's going to be an edge here. I'm going to not draw the one character ones because every one character one is a palindrome. So I'm not going to draw those. But you get the idea anyway, right? And then now, given during this one though. And then now, then the, the problem now, so what I have here on top, uh, the top part of the code, what I have is constructing this graph, right? Now I'm like, okay, between this, um, and, and I'm looking, uh, you know, backwards, which you could look in, you know, this is, you could draw these edges in either direction, but I'm just looking at it backwards, it's fine. Um, but basically it's saying that there's a, a pointer from left to right plus one. No, that's just the, the um, yeah, that's just how, how I drew the thing, right? So this is the, the, the palindrome part and the graph theory part. And then next is the dynamic programming part. And this is basically, um, if you're not familiar with this part, I definitely urge you to work on dynamic program problems. This particular one does come up a lot. It's kind of the max path, um, what's it called? Uh, max or longest path, uh, oops. 
long, longest path in in a DAG, right? So this is basically um, a very, you know, this is a very common uh, dynamic programming problem for learning purposes, and that's probably why a lot of people got it that quickly. Um, and basically, it's just saying, okay, uh, this is, yeah, this is, this just copies the thing um, of the previous thing without creating, uh, or without adding an edge. Um, but, and then the next one is just, okay, if there's an edge from X to I or X minus one, oh no, yeah, from X to I, um, if the length is greater than K. So here, we probably could have done it here as well. I, I mean, I, either, we either have to do it here or here. It doesn't really matter. I did it this way. But basically, so now you have all these edges. If the, the palindrome is at least length K, which is the limit that we're given by, then there's a real edge. And if there's a real edge, we do this thing of, okay, well, what's the longest path that ends in I? That is basically... Um, the longest path that n in x plus 1. And that's basically the idea here. And this is going to be n square because there could be at most n square edges. Um, this is n square anyway. So everything is n square. In terms of space, this is also n square due to this uh, setup of the edges. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I have for this one. So just a combination of a couple of things. Uh, I made it a little bit smaller so you could see the entire solution. But yeah, um, let me know what you think. I, I didn't really go in details about these components, but these are, both these things are very, um, you know, you definitely should know them for interviews and stuff like that. Um, putting them together is a little bit tricky and you have to kind of, you know, have practiced. But I, I believe, you know, if you have the components right, um, this should be pretty okay. So let me know what you think. Um, that's all I have for this one for now. So you could watch me solve with live and contest next, including the part where I, you know, was looking up Z function and then I'm like, okay, let's not use Python and use C++. And then you saw me struggling a little bit with C++ because I, I forgot some of the syntax. It's been a while. So yeah, that's all I have for this one. So let me know what you think and you can watch me solving live now. This as well. Okay. Fine. Wow. 50, I'm just really slow today then, I guess, or this particular problem. Wow. People are really fast. All right, let's look at what this problem is. Between S and a positive number integer K. Non overlapping substring that the length of each substring is at least k, each string is pound. We turn the maximum substring. Okay, what does that mean? So k is equal to 3, so 2 valid. Mm. Oh, people come. I, I was just so slow on the last two problems. Um, each substring is a... Mm, I mean, this is... What was that algorithm again? C algorithm or whatever? function I have to Google this because it's been a while since that. I guess people would know how to do this one because they know C function or whatever it's called I'm not going to get a good time on this one, but that's okay. Managers.
Do I need to do that one, right? Oh, wait, I, I was just very slow today on this one. Mm, I don't trust Python on this one, so I'm gonna just. The syntax for these ones. even the constructor thing again. Something like this, right? And this isn't that hard, but I just was it have to be practiced. Um, okay. Well, I want to section the other way. This is a little bit wrong actually. No, definitely this is okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it should, should be okay. Now what I want is 
It has to happen if statement if that if something like this. Oh, oops, I guess I didn't need this. One and zero is not the right answer, but so we want. is quite right. Seems okay. Mm, is this two though? I think that's the problem is that I don't know that this is two. Maybe that was right. I don't know. Okay, that's definitely not right, so glad I tested. Four four thing is also weird, so okay, five and three. Okay, now I think this is right, so okay. YOLO. Okay. Um, I mean, I was a little bit slow on this one. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. This, um, yeah, uh, this contest and everything in between. Um, I did okay, but yeah. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.